Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop for 10 more minutes. Thunder Chief building action. Okay people, this is what I did. I got them uh, boards taken off. All thrown out there on the ground. Tomorrow morning it's trash morning. He's here early. So <laughs> got to get all this out tonight. <laughs> but uh, I got all this cleaned up. Got all my clay cleaned up. I got all my holes drilled. My alignment pin holes. Now I got to wash all the old mold release off this edge. And get this down to brand new clean fiberglass. See, we want to wash that off. I know what you think. Why don't I just leave that on that edge? But uh, this is a must, people. Listen up. Don't ever try that. Because... This is brand new fiberglass right here. We and with no wax on it. That's bad news. We got to get it waxed before you put any. We even think about putting resin on there. You just might not be able to get your plug out. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be the pits? If them two got locked and you couldn't get them apart. Oh man, getting that plug out of there, that would be a job, man. You would just be in tuned. That would be about your worst case scenario. <laughs> that would be it. So it is just real important. off comes right off water I've heard you know talk about some people saying they have to use soap and I've never had to it just comes right off for me I just it ain't an issue for me okay now I guess what comes next Oh, I gotta clamp this edge first. I was almost thinking about staying up tonight and putting resin on, but I am so tired after last night. I think I'll just uh, get these edges cleaned up, get this shop cleaned up, and turn in. Start a new day tomorrow. Well, all these edges turned out really good though. That worked pretty good putting that, uh, using that thin board. Look at all my edges. There's just not one little blemish, one little bubble, just absolutely nothing all the way around. All the way around. That's just a little clay. Like that. Just perfect, perfect edge. That's what we thrive for, people. That's what you got. That's what matters on this mold the most. Set edge. If you got a bunch of air bubbles, your clay didn't, you know, you didn't get your clay very good. That's where I've been fighting it, my molds. I'm telling you, I think if a guy can jig it up good enough, these smaller parts and use that eighth inch, that worked. And then bigger parts, it'd be just almost impossible, but 
these were you know like this wing it turned out really good I'm happy what about you short pencil <laughs> I know short pencil just over there grinning ear to ear man oh I gotta clean this one up I know sharp pencil just grinning working on them landing gear saying we haul get too tired and try to go too fast and make a mistake. I think I will just clean these up tonight. You know what I mean? One more day ain't gonna kill us. As I say that I'll pull us to do it. Oh, I just thought a mission man. I want this done with you built. The parts I need to mold are dwindling down. That's how you do it. Just little chunks. You notice what I got in my garage now? Nothing. Nothing but these wings. And a big old mold. <laughs> but there's nothing. Just uh, these wings. Get these wings molded. Bam! I'm going to chuck them aside until I get some landing gear. I probably won't even take the mold apart. I'm just going to leave them together, let it cure out, and wait for the gear to get them last few parts molded. I think that's what I want to do. I think that sounds like a good plan because I can't build a set of wings without the gear because I've got to come up with all this internal stuff. It ain't going to be that big a deal, but I have to know where that landing gear is going to go in, because it's pretty good size, it's pretty chunky, but I'm going to have to make a recessed door panel, you know, where that gear goes in, and that's what I do not know. So, you know, the rest, we're just going to use an aluminum main spar going in that will slide into the plane. No, actually, it comes way back here, man. I mean, it is way back here. It actually goes through the landing gear door and the strut. It hits between the strut and the wheel. And it just has to be grooved out a little bit. But that's how the real one does it. We got it all figured out. And Paul's just working away. He's working away as we speak. So when I'm all done molding parts, I'm going to have everything I need. My elevator mechanism he's making. Oh, this is cool. Wait till you guys see this. The elevator mechanism. And my landing gear. Then you know what we're going to do? We're going to chuck one of these together, man. And it's going to go together quick. And uh, we're going to go fly it. Oh yeah, we're going to get it live on YouTube. And uh, it's going to happen uh, next month, this month, what is this, the first, November, yeah, it's going to happen quick, people, next few weeks. It ain't going to take me long to get one of these ready to fly, a couple days. But, you know, it ain't going to be highly detailed, it might not even be painted, well, I don't know. <laughs> I just want to go fly one. I'll fly this first proto prototype, it does alright, then I'll paint the new one. You know, and we can make any changes we need to. That's why that, you know, this, the testing stage is what we gotta do. You know, then by summertime, I'll be pulling out the real 105, baby, and it's gonna look good. It's gonna look like it just came off a mission from Nom. <laughs> but, uh, that's it for tonight, people. I'm gonna get this mess cleaned up, get my trash out, go to bed, get me some Bobo sleep. <laughs> so thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow on another episode of Bob TV. Same Bob time.
same. Bye.